ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. Well, tonight, investigators are trying to figure out why a truck driver stopped on the tracks in front of an oncoming train. That train was heading to D.C. from Charlotte when it hit that track, the truck rather, and derailed in Roanoke Rapids. Diane Cho, live at Union Station, which is where that train was supposed to arrive 20 minutes ago. Diane has the latest on this developing story. Good evening, Diane. Good evening to both of you, Leon and Alice. And we talked to a couple people here at Union Station within the last half hour who told us that they are now being affected by this train crash. And we want to show you more video from the scene down there in North Carolina right now. We know that dozens of people were injured in that crash that happened around noon today, about 30 miles north of Rocky Mount, North Carolina. A woman who witnessed the crash says the driver of the tractor trailer was lingering on the tracks because he was trying to make a difficult right hand turn on the other side and later saw the driver jump out of the truck before the crash took place. The Federal Railway Authority says two of the train's seven cars and the locomotive derailed because of it. The train was heading to New York from Charlotte. We caught up with a couple people who were on their way to Florida today and they were told their train was canceled because of the train crash. So now passengers are trying to figure out what to do next. We talked to one woman who says that she's now planning on taking the bus instead. I try not to get too excited because, I mean, let's face it, they can't help it. You know, I mean, and thankfully nobody was seriously hurt as far as we know. So you just got to go with the flow, you know. At least 40 people were injured in that crash today. We're told that no one had any life-threatening injuries. That's the latest from here at Union Station. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Diane.